A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Nerf Secrets Revealed Aftersought. And now, let's get it on with more than one possible cylinder. Although, this revolver, out of all that I've already talked about, is a lot different in many ways. That's because you load it similar to certain other blasters out there. That's what's making it kind of weird at first, but when you get down to it, the rival roundhouse, as this one is known as typically, but I know it as the arrows. Yeah, no arguing there. But regardless of how this thing should have been named, Wow, this thing has some satisfying feels to it. Especially the clicks that it makes. But above all that, I could consider the Eros to be pretty darn good. Its functionality is widespread. Especially because it's just a really large pistol. Kinda tries to act in many ways of the Maverick or Strong Arm. But this is Rival's version of that blaster. And, yeah, I'm out, yet again. So what I could say for sure about the Eros right here is that, well, its profile makes it a lot larger in size compared to that of some other revolver-based blasters. Strong Arm, Maverick, Hammer Shot, and tons of others that we've had lately, they certainly don't really rebel to this thing because it's one of a kind, actually. And the fact that it uses the same kind of sliding priming mechanism to that of the Maverick or Strong Arm makes it pretty ideal for those who are just really into revolver based blasters. But to load this, it's as simple as inserting HIR rounds into these, I guess, chambers that pretty much just act as storage units until this revolving cylinder over here kind of registers and inserts one into the chamber in order to be fired. This thing can hold up to 15 HIR rounds at the same time. And of course, the jamming mechanism is a lot different on this one compared to others I've already talked about. As you can see here, all you gotta do is press a button and then slide the barrel forward to expose the inside of the chamber. That's pretty nice though, and honestly, there's just a lot of sliding capabilities that this thing has. But let's try something different. Invisible integration. Classic as it may be. I can certainly see that, for the most part, <sighs> I suppose invisible integration with this one in particular makes it pretty unique. But you know what? There's another little mode I want to try on this one here. Yeah, apparently some Rivals Blasters I was able to integrate a second mode into this one. And you'll find out soon enough. The Dual Strike pretty much had it, and there are at least a few more that I will talk about eventually that also have a second mode to it, pretty much. So, safety switch here is the off position because now, Ah, nicely put together, as it were. But hey, it's yet another example of a blaster that can have two different functions. Supposedly because of its large size, I can really hope to see a lot more out of it, but in conclusion, the Eros, with its satisfying action, click sounds, and multiple sliding functions, I could consider this one to be used 
in a lot of different possible ways. Also, there's a tack rail on top. Perfect for those who are willing to add themselves a magazine storage or a reticle or something else entirely. Well anyways, personal rating on the arrows, 8.6 out of 10. So pretty good there. But now, I'm pretty much just going to stop right there because I do have a lot more that I will in fact be talking about soon enough. If you want to see more, go down on my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.